Michael Sarnowski wrote and directed this film, and anyone would be blown away by his work, and he has gone above and beyond with Lupita Nyong'o in the lead role, who shines like we have never seen her do before. There is a real emotional core to this film, and a real emotional journey that Lupita Nyong'o goes through as she tries to keep herself and her cat alive. This is a fantastic film. It is thrilling, scary, and keeps you guessing. The film is about noise being death and silence being life as a metaphor for our current lives. There is a scene of a bus being smashed to pieces, reminiscent of the 9-11 footage of the pale-faced odyssey not to get off the island, but to have one last slice of pizza. This quiet determination gives the film a beautiful, melancholy atmosphere. While day one has some plot flaws, Michael Sarnowski's sci-fi horror film more than makes up for it with intense action sequences, deeply moving performances, and a poignant message about the importance of human connection. Let's start the story. Samira Sam, a pessimistic, terminally ill cancer patient, lives at a hospice outside New York City with her cat, Frodo. Reuben, a nurse, convinces a reluctant Sam to join a group outing to a marionette show in Manhattan. How's your pain? If we get pizza. Didn't we have pizza yesterday? Open realization. I've known that for a while. While in the city, the group notices meteor-like objects falling from the sky. Shortly afterwards, hostile extraterrestrial creatures attack the gathered crowd and passers-by. In the ensuing chaos, Sam is knocked unconscious. Shit. Hello? Hello? Sam later wakes up inside the puppet theater with Frodo and other survivors, including Honri, who signals her to remain quiet. Announcements from military helicopters warn civilians to stay silent and hidden until the authorities can rescue them. Sam then witnesses fighter jets bombing and destroying the bridges leading out of Manhattan, preventing the creatures from leaving the island. One of the survivors begins to panic, and Henri accidentally kills him in the process of trying to keep him silent. The power grid cuts out that night, causing the building's emergency generator to noisily activate. Reuben turns it off, but attracts a creature that kills him on hearing his shirt rip. A distraught Sam takes Frodo and leaves for Harlem. Situations are beginning. Level south with extreme calm. Sitting now at the South Street Seaport. Seek shelter on water. The military announces it is preparing to evacuate civilians by boat from South Street Seaport as the creatures are unable to swim. Groups of people start leaving buildings towards the evacuation point, but the volume of their crowded movement alerts the creatures, who attack them and cause a stampede. Sam flees in the opposite direction and is separated from Frodo. Eric, an English law student, escapes a flooded subway station and encounters Frodo, following him back to Sam. She attempts to convince Eric to go south to the evacuation point, but Eric is in shock and follows Sam back to her apartment instead.
While there, Eric learns Sam is an acclaimed and published poet. The next morning, Sam leaves alone for Harlem, but Eric finds her, and they continue their journey together. Sam and Eric accidentally alert the creatures and flee into a flooded subway. With no other way out, the pair are forced to wade through the deep waters, eventually waking a dormant creature that pursues them but drowns while they escape. Piano. Sam falls unconscious after the ordeal. They end up in a ruined church, and while Sam rests, Eric ventures out alone to get pain medication for her from a pharmacy. He then rescues Frodo from a construction site, discovering a group of creatures led by a larger one feeding on the remains of an organic egg-like pod. Sam tells Eric that as a child, she used to watch her late father play jazz at a club in Harlem and would get pizza with him at Patsy's afterward, something Sam always wanted to do before she died. Eric fulfills Sam's wish by taking her to the club, collecting pizza from another store, and performing a magic card trick to cheer her up. Eric and Sam see boats in the river, filled with survivors escaping Manhattan. As the two leave together, creatures start to congregate along the shore. Sam gives Eric her jacket and Frodo, and then runs off to distract creatures by smashing car windows. As a result, car alarms activate which attract the creatures away from the coastline. Meanwhile, Eric and Frodo jump into the water and are pulled up into a boat by Henri. Eric then finds a note in the jacket written by Sam, telling him to take care of Frodo and thanking him for reminding her to live. Sam walks into a deserted street as she listens to Nina Simone's Feeling Good on... her iPod. Accepting her imminent death, Sam smiles as she unplugs her earphones and lets the song blare, causing a nearby creature to suddenly appear behind her. Cat. You better take care of my things. Been back. I'd forgotten how the city. And I'm feeling good. 